Hey guys, welcome back. So this video is dedicated to my settings because people were asking for them. So we'll start with uh, controls and then we'll go into options and then post uh, post effect settings. So I'm on full real controls, controls mode none. Um, so these are actually all the controllers that I'm using right now uh, for my setup. And I'll explain some of these a little bit. Uh, throttle access, that's just your normal throttle. I believe I have that inverted right there. Um, Roll axis, the joystick, all this stuff. Make sure that you have the roll sensitivity and the pitch sensitivity low. Um, I find that even if you put it up to even 10%, uh, it can cause your aircraft to be super duper wobbly. Um, you just fly a lot more steady with roll and pitch. Y'all really, really depends on which controls you're using. I used to use rudder pedals on PS4, but the PS5 has not recognized them yet. So... Um, I'm using the paddles on the back of my throttle. That's why I've turned it down from like 20 or 25 percent to three percent. Uh, I don't have an aircraft with thrust vector. All these buttons right here, these are just random toggles um, to uh, my joystick or my throttle settings. Uh, small caliber, all this stuff. Open Bombay doors to a Bluetooth keyboard. The D, uh, right stick, triangle. Yeah, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna scroll through it. Zoom access. You can see all these settings right here. Um, just gonna quickly go through it right there. Head movement up and down. I highly recommend that. So it makes uh, deflection shooting a lot easier. Aerobatic smoke, cockpit lighting, all this stuff. Uh, aim acceleration, backlash, all elevator. You can see these right here. Relative control set to 30% on these. Uh, that should depend on the keyboard, um, but for me, that's what works. Engine controls, all this stuff right here. Uh, you can see mixture, and that's different than prop pitch, or sorry, that's different than this, where I have control sensitivity up to 100%, so that way I can do that stuff real quick. Uh, feathering and all this stuff right here. Tactical map, stats, leave vehicles, not J, it's B. J is for something else I actually forget. Chat activation, C. Push to talk is actually on my throttle. Um, and change view, the triangle button, is what I use for my uh, controller, the PS5 controller. Right here, decal movement, blah, 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 zoom camera, mouse look activation. These are my sensitivities for mouse and touchpad zoom. It's because I have a mouse strapped to my head, an air mouse strapped to my head, in order for me to get some makeshift head tracking. And I can show you guys the controls for that when we get to it. Um, these are all my chats right here. This means nothing unless you're using like a camera I'm pretty sure um, where's the where's the thing view controls right here so mouse look activation the mouse on my head is not always activated um, but I can activate it by pressing up on this little toggle on my joystick um, that makes shooting forward a lot straighter because your head won't be wobbling around and such so just having it activated and turn when you want it to turn makes it so much easier uh, mouse, yeah, so these are all the sensitivities for that. I need to find the view controls then. Camera control. Where is it? So view in battle. Up button, you can see right here. This is what I use to activate it, and then I just use the gyroscope inside of the air mouse in order for the actual head tracking to work. Um, but a very key thing is to make sure that you have uh, controls mode none and full real controls, because if you don't, um, your aircraft will want to fly wherever you point the air mouse. Uh, and I learned that the hard way for about a month because I was dumb. Moving on to options, I'll just, I'll literally just scroll through this. Common battle settings, uh, blah, 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 blah. I actually had a lot of these, like, tricked out, but then none of the settings really transferred over from uh, PS4, and I just didn't feel like doing it. Battle interface, this is all pretty basic stuff. Um, this is weird for me to use. <laughs> Not... For speed, altitude is feet, and distance is miles. I really should have the distance for kilometers. Um, it's just three conversions that I really have to do, and it's weird. <laughs> I kind of make it hard for myself. Um, sound, these are the sounds. All this, like, radio chat, and that's turned down, so I don't get interrupted by someone screaming on the radio. Voice chat, like I said, right there. Internet, no one fucking does that. Um, here we go, post-effect settings. These are the ones that I use. I can show you guys the difference right here. So here, just taking color correction off. Look at this disgusting piece of sh Okay. Look at this disg <laughs> Look at this disgusting haze they put over it. Like just make sure you have contrast on. It make brightens up the colors. Now all these uh, these like little settings right here, they depend a lot on your uh, on your monitor or your TV, whatever you're using. 
Uh, I have Reinhardt on. Some people use Polynom, but I'm, we really got to take the time to figure out which looks best. I like Reinhardt. It looks great. Uh, well, not with default, but with contrast, it looks fantastic. Things actually pop out from range, so you can kind of see dots. Maybe a little bit easier, but the whole game looks 10 times better. <laughs> so I just use it. Uh, cockpit, bomb review sharpness. Cockpit sharpness, if you turn it up too much, it'll make everything that's not in the cockpit look extremely hazy and everything in the cockpit look kind of unrealistic. So just make sure you have these as they are. So I'll show you guys what it looks like when I have mouse joystick or mouse aim on. You see this? So as I'm turning my head, my, my hand is not moving the actual joystick, but the ailerons are moving because I'm moving my head around because the aircraft wants to fly wherever it is pointing. Uh, that's extremely annoying <laughs> and kind of impossible to fly as. So just make sure you have this down to none right there. Okay, I'm going to turn this head thing off. Throttle access, I already said it's inverted because when it's not inverted for my throttle, when I push it up, the throttle pulls back, <laughs> and I don't like that, and I don't want that because that's not how it works. Uh, dead zone here, nonlinearity, all this stuff, and then you see the sensitivity is down to zero. Um, you to have it at one. It really doesn't make a difference if you have it at one or zero. Pitch access right here, 1.01. I'm pretty sure that's a mistake, but I'm just going to keep it. Yaw access, uh, nonlinearity is two on this. Um, this is just the perfect balance that I have found with these little paddles on the back. You see? So nonlinearity. It just allows me to be a little bit more precise um, because you can see the physical access really jump up when I'm just tapping it. And I, I don't like that because a lot of the times, especially at like speed, you're really just trying to make small adjustments. Um, the rudder is the key to combat and the key to getting good at sim. And I was a little disappointed uh, that I couldn't have my actual rudder pedals transfer over. Um, but I, I'm sure they'll, they'll come eventually, so it's just in time. All this stuff as I covered left brake. <laughs> so I used to my brake used to be binded to my rudder pedals. Sorry, I didn't mean to hit my mic. Uh, so when I would press down on the toes, it would it had a, like accesses inside of them, and it let me control uh, the right brake or the left brake individually how much I wanted it and all that stuff. It was a lot easier than using uh, keys because when you put on keys, it gives a hundred percent brake whenever you touch them. I'm sure you can like have a an increase and decrease brake for right and left. Um, but I'm just not going to have that. Drag shoot, nothing right there. You can pretty much just bind that to whatever key you want. Small caliber, open bomb bay, fire rocket. Uh, rockets and Shrog Muzi cannons are binded to the same button because typically you're not going to have Shrog Muzi and rockets on, on an aircraft. Gunner view, I don't really use this a ton. Um, right here, gunner view sensitivity, aiming control speed. Toggle view is triangle on my uh, controller so I can have push to talk on my throttle my tracking camera I don't really use that uh, tracking aiming assist no you can't use that in sim uh, zoom axis right here so that's my button for zoom when I hit the right thing uh, the little toggle on the top of my joystick that's what zooms uh, view in battle up up covered that on um, upward and to the or sorry downward and to the left activates this so Look right here. When I press down, it moves up. Or that lets you deflection shoot. Or deflection shoot. Yeah. That lets you deflection shoot a lot easier. Um, and then you can just reset it as you want. It also lets you like look behind you. Like this. If you have an aircraft like a Corsair or a 109 E3. Something like that. With a huge um, backstop behind you. Or a backrest. It allows you to look above that. Um, I'm pretty sure I've showed you guys this stuff right here. So th that's pretty much it. It's not um, that hard. But I do highly recommend that you take the time to kind of perfect it for whatever settings you have, for whatever monitor you have, and all that stuff. This is just kind of a quick fire thing of what my settings are. I'm not going to recommend like a ton to you guys because it all works individually. So that is uh, pretty much it. I uh, just wanted to thank you guys for watching and just leave you with a little bit of a show. Come on, if I don't fuck this up. There we go. <laughs> Thank you all for watching. I hope this helped out. I'll catch you in the next one. Adios.